Hi, my name is Sue McCartney and I'm an author illustrator. And today I'm going to read to you from my debut picture book, Benjamin's Blue Feet. So I want you to sit back and join my little blue-footed friend here and let's go on a story adventure together. Benjamin is a little booby, a little blue-footed booby, a little treasure-hunting blue-footed booby, the best little treasure-hunting blue-footed booby on the island. You can see Benjamin there looking for treasures. Yesterday, he found a long red something. A uh, string stretcher? The day before, he found a round something. Uh, a whole thing -um. What will he find at the beach today? I wonder what he's going to find. Look, shouts Benjamin, a shiny something. A twinkly something. Uh, a twinkle doodle. Hello? He circles slowly around to the twinkliest side. Why, that's me, he gasps. This is the best treasure ever. He flaps and honk, honk, honks. Back to my hiding place. Excited, Benjamin peers at himself. He stares at his beak. It's straight and very long, not like Warbler's tiny beak. He looks a little sad there, doesn't he? Benjamin stares at his wings. They're long and bristly not like penguin's sleek and narrow wings that hug his body. Benjamin stares at his feet. They are floppy and blue, not like iguana's clawed toes that cling to the rocks. Benjamin is miserable. He doesn't want that twinkum doodle anymore. I'll bury it, bury it, he cries. Suddenly, Benjamin has an idea. He searches through his treasures. Look at all his treasures flying into the air. What if I take my string stretches? Then my feet won't look so blue. I'll just squeeze into my whole thingum. Then my wings won't stick out. And this old plunket is perfect to shorten my beak. Benjamin holds his breath and wobble waddles to the beach. The iguanas bob bob their heads in surprise. The sea lions rock to and fro with laughter. A flock of finches erupts in a twittering kerfuffle. Benjamin ignores them and totters on. He launches himself and lands beak first in the waves. Oh no, I can't swim without my big feet. He's gonna need your help here. So we're gonna need to kick, flip, and flap, slap. So let's all do this together. He kick, flips, flap, slaps, until the string stretches snap off. A shimmering school of fish flashes by. Benjamin jabs at them, but his beep bop box back. Oh no, 
I can't fish without my beak. Look, there's a little seahorse down there. He's going to need your help again. Now we need to wriggle, wiggle, and joggle, jiggle. Are you ready? He wriggle, wiggles, joggle, jiggles until that old plunket shoots off. Just then, a flock of blue-footed boobies soars into the sky. It's fishing time. Benjamin tries to flap his wings, but they're stuck. He looks pretty sad there, doesn't he? Oh no, I can't fly without my wings. We're gonna need your help again. We're gonna need to churn, turn, and worm, squirm. Are you ready? Benjamin churn, turns, worm, squirms until that whole thingum pops off. And look where the plunket landed. Tortoise doesn't look very happy about that. Benjamin paddles in happy circles. I am a blue-footed booby, so of course my feet are blue, perfect for paddling. Of course my beak is long and pointy, superb for catching fish. And how could I fly without my wide wings? You see everybody's looking on. Benjamin stretches his wings and feels a delightful tingly sensation right down to the ends of his big blue feet. Wait for me! Then Benjamin soars high into the sky to join the other boobies. We're all going to go fishing. And then when you get to the back of the book, there's a note about trash in the ocean. And you might have noticed that some of Benjamin's treasures are not really things that we should find on the beach. So this is a little note about how to take care of our ocean and the importance of collecting trash. And then the other really fun thing about picture books is we have something called end papers. And for my end papers, I have all the Galapagos creatures that are in the story. And there's a link to a glossary. So if you want to find out more about them, you can learn more about them there. I am so happy that I got to read you my new book today. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for listening. Bye for now.